How are you doing everyone? And welcome back to the Learn or Drive Our Classroom. My name is Anthony and today we're going to be talking about turning right on the yellow box junction. Every day people fail the test for not knowing how to do these correctly. So watch the video until the end to learn how. Also, if you have any questions, put them straight into the comment section below and I'll answer all, the, all your questions. Also, watch the video until the end because we have a cool prize to give away at the end. So first, we're gonna talk about position at these bigger junctions. If you're going straight through or turning left, usually you would be in the left-hand lane unless the road markings suggested otherwise. And if you are turning right, we would be either in the right lane or if it was one lane, we would just be over just left of that centre line. Mm -hmm. Just like any other right turn we would normally do. Next, we're gonna be talking about stopping. All right, so if we see the red light on approach, I get, we always stop at the first line to you. I get asked this question uh, every day, it's like, where do I stop? Just think, it's always the first line to you. On bigger junctions, sometimes the box in front of you could be for cyclists, and there could be another line further up for pedestrian crossings. So just think, always oh, stop at the first line you see. So now that we're stopped, we see the red light here. But also, I, every day I always see people straining up to try to see this light from here. Always remember, there will be another light for you facing the road. Usually it'll be over here and it will be facing your your line here. This light is also for you, all right? So you don't have to strain your eyes and look up here. You can just look across the road for another traffic light that's facing you. If it's facing you, it's for you. So now the light has gone green. So that means we can proceed with caution, but also this side of the road will also have a green light as well. So you're okay to go straight and left provided it says to do so, but that means so is this side of the road as well. All right, so when we're turning right, what we do is we see the green light. If we're the first car in the queue here, we will move up towards the center of the junction and we're gonna look to the right and stop with the front of our car in line with the center line. The way we did the, in the last video we, when we were talking about turning right. Why we're stopped here, that's when we need to keep the observation going. We need to be looking ahead to the right. Ahead to the right. Also, keeping an eye on these traffic lights here, all right? I'll explain more about that in a second. Now, the trick here is we're just looking for the first safe gap when we can literally just get off the junction. That's your main job here. Get off the middle of the junction. So when there's no more cars coming or when there's just a big enough gap, you can proceed with caution, all right? And then just like the last video we, we talked about turning right, once you're, steer once you're gonna go that way, make sure you look and you steer and you're gonna come up here. Now, once we're out, out of the junction, that's when I usually say the second car that has been waiting behind the lion can then go up and do the same thing, provided it's still green. Usually I say just one car into the middle at a time, especially if it's a really small junction and if it's really busy as well. Now, if it's a really big junction, it is okay to fit two in the middle but generally, I just, for where I work, the junctions are a lot smaller and I just say one into the middle at a time. The reason why I say this, so for the smaller junctions is usually what will happen is, so say one, the first car will go up and stop. Now, they could stop anyway. They could literally just stop like right in front here. And if you follow them up, it means you're gonna be across this cycle box. You could be across, across a, a pedestrian crossing and it's a really bad place to be stopped. Also, if it's really busy, what can happen is, so you're waiting for the group, this, this is a green light for you, but for them, 
when this goes amber, that means these have an amber light as well. So they'll get the same light as you. So this car will fly through an amber light. And then there could be a next car that will fly through a red light. That means you have to get off the junction. So this car would be late getting off the junction. But imagine how late the second car would be. At, by, that, by the time you get around here, either these cars will be coming for you, or there could be a, pedest a green man here for pedestrians. So that's why I say one car into the middle at a time. Once they get off the junction, if it's still green, then you can go up. Another important thing to mention is once you're in the middle here, these lights, once they, once they start going amber and red, a lot of people freeze and they think they should stop here. That's the last thing you want to do. These lights are changing for the people behind this line. All right, they're not for you anymore. Although you will know when you could be going, but your job here is get off the junction. So don't worry too much about these. You can use them, obviously, because if it goes amber, you know, these will have an amber light. So you could be getting ready to go. But once it goes red, just get off the junction anyway. Now, it could happen that if, say, so these, as you were saying, these cars break the light. So the last car breaks a red light and it makes you get off the junction really late. You could possibly get a grey tree for that. Even though it wasn't your fault, that is, it's a bit harsh, but you could possibly get a grey tree for that. All right. But you will definitely get a grey tree if you see this light and you wait here. Green light up to the middle and stop and get off the junction. So now we see a different light come on. So say if you're stuck there in the middle and you're waiting for the fourth available gap, you could be lucky and then a filter light could come on. Now there's no, there's no guaranteed way these filter light works. Sometimes the filter light can come on first or sometimes it can come on like after the green light has been on. So there's no really, you just have to kind of know the junction a little bit. But once the green arrow comes on, that means we can all proceed with caution, all right? There should be no cars coming here and there should be no pedestrians crossing the road. But we still drive, we still do it like any other right turn. We drive forward, we look and we steer. A lot of people kind of panic when they see this green filter light and they go, ah, lovely, and just go and cut straight across the junction. No need, just do it like any other right turn, forward, look and steer. Now, another thing that could happen is, so I see this every day in Rahini village, especially in the morning traffic and the, and the evening traffic. So we get the green filter light, we're coming along, we're saying, lovely, we have the light, and we don't, we always have to look up here, make sure that there's no build up of traffic here. If there is traffic building up, we obviously want to stop behind the line. There's no point just following traffic blindly into a junction and then realizing you can't clear this or the pedestrian crossing here. Be very careful about that when it's when the roads are busy. So look, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that like button and if you have any questions, pop them into the comment section below. All right. Now what the prize for later on is this limited edition mug with all the road signs and some questions to help you pass your driving test. So to learn how to win that, make sure we stay to the very end. There's 17 road signs on that cup. You'll need to know that information for the end of the video. So another reason why people fail that test is for when they see this traffic light here. It's a green arrow for straight only. What that means is, if you're in this lane and you're going straight, you're okay to proceed with caution. If you're turning right here and you see this arrow and you go into the middle, that's a grey tree. Well, we don't do that. Um, when we see this arrow for straight, we wait behind the line. All right, um, very important. And then once, once, once that changes, you might get a green filter, you can proceed, or that'll turn into a green circle, and then up to the middle, 
So I hope you enjoyed that video on turning right at the yellow box junction. I was going to try to draw another uh, diagram there, but I have lessons on now, so I will do this diagram in the next one. Um, so, to w how do you win the cup? So, during the video, I, I mentioned how many road signs were on the cup. I want you to comment under the video below how many road signs are on it. Also, I want you to like and subscribe to the channel. Everyone that likes and subscribe and comments the answer to the question, will have a chance to win this cup. All right, um, so yeah, best luck. Any questions as well, pop them into the comment section below and I'll see you in the next classroom.